Brazil's president is sending in the army to help tackle the fires in the Amazon. But did he do this because he genuinely cares or because the EU threatened to stop all trade with Brazil if you didn't? Find out right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload where we overload you with information. I'm Charlotte Dore. Subscribe for trending news updates that are actually interesting and follow the IO team on social media. International governments are outraged about Brazil's lack of action with regards to the Amazon rainforest. Angela Merkel of Germany called the fires an acute emergency. Emmanuel Macron of France tweeted, Our house is burning, literally. The Amazon rainforest, the lungs which produces 20% of our planet's oxygen is on fire. It is an international crisis. Both leaders said that the fires should be discussed at the G7 summit that took place this past weekend. France accused Brazil's President Bolsonaro of lying when he rejected concerns about climate change at the G20 summit in June. France and Ireland have both threatened to not go through with a trade deal with South American countries like Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay. Finland's finance minister said that the EU should ban all Brazilian beef imports. All of this was to put pressure on Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro. The trade deal Ireland and France are talking about is the EU Mercosur free trade agreement and it's a deal that took 20 years to negotiate. It won't be officially ratified for at least another two years, if at all now. The president of Brazil responded by accusing Macron of meddling for political gain. But it finally looks like Brazil's president is taking the fires much more seriously. He's sending in the big guns. In a televised address on Friday, Bolsonaro said that forest fires exist in the whole world and can't serve as a pretext for possible international sanctions. If you haven't watched our video on how the Amazon rainforest fires started, I highly recommend you do that. It explains why all of this began and why people think that Brazil's president is responsible. But to get you up to speed to today, Brazil's president confirmed on television that he sent in his country's armed forces to help fight the fires. He said, I quote, I've learned as a military man to love the Amazon rainforest and I want to help to protect it. Now, you want to help protect it now. All right, so here's the plan. Right now, according to a decree, Brazilian armed forces are gearing up for deployment to nature reserves, border areas, and indigenous lands. The decree also said that the deployment of soldiers would be up to the regional governors who can request preventative action against agriculture crimes. As of Monday, Brazil is also sending in warplanes to drop thousands of gallons of water on the burning forests. So essentially, the army is being sent to stop illegal deforestation in a rainforest that is huge, bigger than the size of Europe. According to Defense Minister Fernando Azevedo de Silva, 700 members of the armed forces will be sent initially and $6.8 billion will be made available to put out the fires. The army will be working diligently for a month. US President Donald Trump said that he spoke to Bolsonaro on Friday and he agreed to help the Amazon rainforest as well. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said on Thursday, in the midst of the global climate crisis, we we cannot afford more damage to a major source of oxygen and biodiversity. Earth Alliance has also donated six million dollars to the conservation effort. What do you think Brazil should do to help put out the fires? Let us know in the comments. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video with some comment features from our video. This is what's going to save the Amazon rainforest. The Great Mist of Gaiman said, literally the only channel that cares our world is dying and trying to get some media coverage of the Amazon wildfires. Lots of people care now, but I'd like to think that our coverage helped spread the word. So, yay. Daisy Crispy said, thank you IO for covering this and caring about this. I'm happy that Mother Nature is giving us another chance, kinda. Sorta. Either that or she like saw us and was just like, hey, you guys look at this, I'm just gonna do it. Does anyone else have lumbago said, instead of storming Area 51, we should storm the Amazon rainforest and plant loads of seeds and spray water everywhere. Down. That is it for me and thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, check out this playlist over here and leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in a future IO video.